What's up guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the eyedropper tool to select only certain parts of shapes and sample them to apply to other shapes. So as you can see, we have a shape or a square on the right, and it has a stroke around it. This square, the fill is pink, and the stroke is black, uh, about 30 point stroke. The guy on the left, he's blue, he has no stroke. So what if I want to eyedropper and just grab the stroke from this and apply it to this without changing the color? Normally when you select this shape and grab the eyedropper tool over here in the toolbar, the shortcut key for that is I, and then when you click on the shape that you wanna pull the attributes from, it's gonna pull everything. So it's gonna change the fill to the fill of this shape and it's gonna change the stroke to the stroke of this shape but we can adjust that. So if I just want to pull the stroke from this shape over or just the fill from this shape over, what we need to do is double click the eyedropper tool and that opens up the eyedropper options. You can see we have lots of different options in here. These two columns are what the eyedropper picks up and what it applies. I would say the easiest way to only select the stroke color, for instance, is to turn off the local fill on both what the eyedropper picks up and what the eyedropper applies. Now, if you wanna dig through here and adjust any of these other options, depending on what you are eyedroppering, uh, you can go right ahead, but this is just an example. So I've turned off the fill for both by turning, unchecking the focal fill, hit okay, and now when I click on this shape, it's only gonna pull the stroke. It doesn't pull the fill. So that's how you can use the eyedropper tool to grab different attributes of your items or your objects on your, uh, on your, on your canvas here, whether it's font or uh, shapes, fill colors, different things, transparency. You can turn on and off some of these characteristics of what the eyedropper picks up and what it applies. If you like this video, like this video, subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.